I was one of the last to speak with John Lennon. Some of the most well-known portraits in history were taken by me. I am Annie Leibovitz. My portraiture became the symbol of iconic celebrity photographs, showing the subject in a more natural state. My full name is Anna Lou Leibovitz. I was born to Marilyn and Samuel on October 2nd, 1949. My mother was a teacher of modern dance. My father was an Air Force lieutenant, and he was relocated often. When this happened, our family of six kids would pile in the back of the station wagon, and my mom and dad would just drive nonstop. When I was older, I traveled to Japan with my family. There, I bought my first camera, a Minolta SRT 101. While we were there, I decided to climb Mount Fuji. I brought my camera with me. The camera felt like it weighed a ton. It was heavy and it felt awkward. It seemed to get heavier the higher we went, but it was all worth it when we saw the beautiful sunrise at the top. That sunrise is what inspired my interest in photography. In 1970, I applied for a job at Rolling Stone magazine. The editor of the magazine, Jan Weidner, was amazed by my portfolio. She offered me a job at Rolling Stone. When I was in my third year at the San Francisco Art Institute, my photographs began appearing in Rolling Stone magazine. By the age of 26, I was the chief photographer of Rolling Stone. My work was going well, and I was gradually becoming well known. As a result, in 1975, Mick Jagger asked me to be the photographer for the Rolling Stones world tour. My boss at Rolling Stone warned me that there may not be a job there for me when I returned. I was torn, but I could not resist the chance to photograph the Rolling Stones 1975 World Tour. Concert work proved a challenge for me because the crowds made it difficult to get good shots, but I enjoyed seeing new places and traveling with the band for a year. Thankfully, Rolling Stone took me back after the tour. In 1980, they sent me to photograph John Lennon and his wife, Yoko Ono, for their latest album, Double Fantasy. We worked all day until finally we got a shot that both Lennon and Ono thought described their relationship perfectly. Five hours later, John Lennon was assassinated. The magazine used the portrait as the cover for their memorial issue about Lennon. Seeking new challenges, I joined Vanity Fair magazine in 1988. I am probably most famous for my work with Vanity Fair. My covers for Vanity Fair were groundbreaking and very controversial. One of the most controversial covers was probably the actress Demi Moore's cover. We were doing a photo shoot for Moore while she was pregnant. She posed nude, and when we reviewed the photos later, I thought, wow, these would be great cover shots. I submitted one of them to Vanity Fair, and sure enough, they wanted it as a cover. I was almost positive that Moore would not let us use it, but surprisingly, she said, sure. While it is fairly commonplace today, at that time it was outrageous to portray the pregnant form. I have had a long and fulfilling career as the premier female photographer of my generation. I now live with my three daughters, Sarah, Samuel, and Susan. Sarah is five years old, and my twins, Samuel and Susan, are 17 months. I am still working for Vanity Fair, and I recently joined Vogue as well. I have changed the face of modern photography.